Kevin wants to know, who's my BFF? <laughs> Kevin, have you forgotten? Would it be difficult to convert the TARDIS into a tool shed? No, I think that would be really, really cool. It might be kind of small for a tool shed. I don't know. It is bigger on the inside. Can I make a wishing well? It would be really cool to have one in my front yard. So look for that eventually. Maybe. I hope. Along with the chest pieces. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? African or European? Do I struggle getting my tools back into their molded plastic cases? No, I never use those cases. I throw those cases away because they're, I think they're useless. I'd rather just be able to grab a tool off the shelf. So we've got the TARDIS. How about an X-Wing or maybe the Death Star? A lot of people have been asking me to build the Enterprise too. TARDIS I could make full size, but to make a full size Enterprise would be really difficult. And to make a full size Death Star, that might be a two week project. Why was I in the Little Rascals documentary? I was on a documentary on, on E, the E Entertainment. They had a, a show called True Hollywood Stories. And at the time I was running a Little Rascals Our Gang website. Only Our Gang member I've met in person was the girl who played Dorothy. And she lived in Livermore, California. And I think she just died a couple years ago. I uh, interviewed and talked to Tommy Bond who played Butch. And there were a few others, but I'm not not sure if any of them are alive anymore. Little rascals. <laughs> if I was a little rascal, which one would I be? <laughs> Probably Farina. Farina was my favorite. He was with the series from the start, 1922, all the way up until 1932. Two, I believe, so 10 years, you know, before they dumped him. Here's another fun fact. Alfalfa was in It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. That was before he shot a man in Reno just to see him die. If I had zero interest in woodworking, what would I do for a living? Appear on trashy reality TV shows on the E! Entertainment Network? How would I make a rip fence for the table saw? I've seen some guys that make rip fences for table saws, but I think that's one of those things that it's just a better thing to buy. I think you'll have better luck, it'll slide easier, and it'll, it'll be more accurate. When am I gonna go on a world tour? Oh, maybe soon. I'm trying to arrange something with George Michael and wham. Wake me up before you go-go. Stefan wants to know if I would make an actual crossbow, one that shoots arrows, not marshmallows. I don't see myself making any weapons. Maybe an AK-47. Rick wants to know about using spray adhesive for attaching cutting templates. I actually have a whole video on that right over here. Do I feel like woodworking isn't as fun now that it's a living instead of a hobby? No, that's kind of a misconception. A lot of people assume that any job, no matter what your job is, if you're doing it for a living, it can't possibly be fun. Sometimes I think people don't want to try new things. And so they say, well, if I did it for a living, then it just would stop being fun, and which is kind of an excuse not to try. If I had one last woodworking project to bake, what would it be? I guess my coffin? Here's my prototype. Craig wants to know where his keys are. I'll give you the answer every parent gives. Did you look in the last place you had them? Do you ever notice when we're looking for things, we, we end up looking in like the weirdest places. <laughs> like you're looking through the house and you're like, well, maybe they're in the freezer. I'll just check anyway. <laughs> Woodworking commando, a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. When am I gonna make the chess pieces? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What do I think of the new Doctor? Well, I wasn't really sure at first, but I think that the first episode of this season was perfect. And I love the way that they blended Matt Smith in with the new Doctor, Peter Capaldi. It's really the great thing about that show is that you never know what to expect. Characters come and go, even the main character changes. This is a good question. When do I glue versus glue and screw? <laughs> if you glue things together, you don't need any mechanical fasteners with them. If I glue something and you see me putting screws in it, I do that because I don't want to take the time to clamp it. And the screws are just acting really as a clamp. And also, if I don't mind the screws showing, I'll use those. Do you know any women woodworkers? Yes, there's lots of women woodworkers. I actually think there's more women woodworkers today than there are men woodworkers. It's just that women woodworkers often have a broader view of what woodworking can be. I think Anna White has done more to bring women into woodworking than anyone else. Oh, Oh, and Kristen, don't forget Kristen. What's the trick to getting perfect box joints? Well, I would start by making this jig by Matthias Wandel. What did that mysterious red handle do that's hanging from my ceiling? That one? I don't know, let's find out.